um, I named this video, like, you, um, falling into depression and anxiety. It's just, like, it's just, just, when you fall, it just, like, sometimes it just feels like you just keep falling and falling and falling. And it doesn't end. <laughs> It doesn't end. It's, it's not like you just fall and then you're like, oh, I hurt myself. No, it's just like a never end, a never ending, um, like kind of like a abyss, you know, never ending. Um, and you just keep going d deeper, deeper, deeper. Like, I mean, like for me, it's like my depression, my depression is not like as bad as it was before. I guess it's because like I'm doing like you know, more things now in my life. I mean, it's good, but some, day, but some days I just wake up and it's like, hmm, I just want to die, like, you know? But I guess that is, like, more normal, per se, because, like, maybe people, a lot of people probably wake up feeling that, you know, they just want to die, maybe every once in a while, but me, I guess it's just more, like, it's just more like often. Um, I think that my depression actually gotten a lot better, but sometimes I can be like, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I continuing on doing this? I don't need to do it anymore. Um, I tried to actually talk to a therapist like online about how I feel, but I ended up, like, sending, not even sending, but I ended up, um, typing one message, and then I never sent it. Um... It just, and I guess, like, that's what they say about people with depression, is that you know, you just lose interest in doing certain things. You just, you like, talking, for example, talking to people and, um, going outside your house and having fun. But what will happen if, what happen if is, if that's just, like, the type of person you are? What happens if that's just the type of person you are? You just don't feel like doing it. Maybe it's not depression. Um, I actually am seeing, like, a person, like, a real-life psychiatrist, a real person. Mm, I'm sure. A real-life psychiatrist, but, um, I haven't seen that guy for, like, almost two months now, and it's not because I don't want to, but it's because he's scheduled to see me two months I think the last time I saw him, it's just, like, I drained the heck out of that guy. Because, like, he, you know, like, some people are super sensitive, like me. And then, like, I guess that when I was talking to him, I kind of, you know, drained him. I kind of made him sad. And so he's like, okay, instead of seeing me next month, two months now. I guess, like, I guess, like, because, like, this, it must be, like, a consequence for doing that because I actually stopped taking my medicine because I forgot. <laughs> because I forgot. Um, I, I can start taking it again, but I don't know if I want to. It's a miracle that I actually started taking my medicine in the beginning. But now, I don't know. Uh... Now, for anxiety... I have tons and tons of anxiety. It's it just, it just, you know, it's just, like, weird body-affecting anxiety. Like, sometimes I can feel like when I was standing up, when I was um, working, right, and it just felt like my body was getting hotter and hotter and hotter, right? And, yeah, it, it's, that's the way it felt, and it's like, it was anxiety because I started getting nervous and nervous and nervous. And it's like, it's just to a point where I looked over and then I saw both of the, um, the managers, like, staring at me. You know how people stare and then, like, I don't know. And they were just both staring at me and they saw that I wasn't having a time, but nobody cared. Nobody cared, um, 
sometimes it just feels like the anxiety is so bad that like it's kind of hard to actually um stand around other people it's kind of hard to actually do that or be around other people because it's like I don't feel good people don't make me feel good you know like on my last job people were like kind of poking around with me honestly like I would just uh, rather be left alone I it's just something about seeing a person that's like a black person Honestly, it's just honestly, and then like you get like more people kind of poking around with you and all that stuff. But if I were any other person, they would have left me alone. You know, I just don't, I just don't appreciate that. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of stress, like especially in the black community when it comes to kind of preconceived, you know, notions of how you're supposed to be as a human being. And when you don't fit that criteria, people tend to treat you kind of weird they don't treat you with much respect or they just play around with you or something like that or they just treat you like you don't feel anything or like you don't have feelings <sighs> um sorry y'all my shirt ain't down it looks like it looks like it's down but it ain't down oh lord <sighs> this is showing a little bit too much y'all <laughs> um um so that's the way it's been happening, like going on like that. I just, I just really don't like it. But anyway, it's fine. Now sometimes it's to the point where, like, when I'm in a room with people, I can just pick up like different feelings and all that stuff, and I have a hard time like looking a person at a person in the eyes. I have a very hard time doing that because it's like, it just makes me, I could just see their emotions and then I could just see their, the expression in their face and I don't, if I don't like it, it gives me a hard time. I can't really, I don't really like it, you know, and I just do like whatever I can to make sure, you know, I don't really have to deal with it as much and um so anyway that's about that's what's about my depression and, and anxiety because honestly like making these videos is like is a surprise that I'm actually able to do this because Or maybe it's not. I'm making these videos, and it's just me. I'm not actually talking to anybody. So...